chapter 671, if you won't seek death, you will not die, too. When Shen Yangxia appeared again, Long Yu began to feel a bit stuffy. He pretended to be calm and put on the poise of a prince. He calmly looked ahead. But there was the hint of panic in his eyes to betray his excitement. When Li Qi saw Shen Yangxiao not saying a word, he thought that Shen Yangxiao's courage was really small, causing his heart to be more emboldened. He spoke even more without obstruction. His Majesty the Emperor assigned the Rising Sun City to you not so you can abuse your power. You're still a little brat yet you're already this stingy. Are these things for people to eat? You actually have the nerve to receive the Prince and the State Preceptor like this? Really uneducated. What's wrong? Did it not suit your fancy? Shen Yangxiao smilingly asked. You don't talk any nonsense. Throw these things out for me and give me proper food. The Long Xiuan Empire has given you so much preferential treatment and funding. I don't believe you didn't have any other good dishes here. You really are such a stingy little brat for not being willing to take it out. Indeed, you haven't seen the world enough yet. Can you really govern this city with that kind of vision? Li Qi angrily opened his mouth. Shen Yangxia raised her eyebrow and felt that Li Qi's words were ridiculously funny. How could she not know about the preferential treatment that the Long Xiuan Empire had given her? And where did that funding come from? I'm sorry, I only have steamed buns here, I don't have any other food. Patience was patience, but it was absolutely impossible for her to keep complying with their demands. You. Li Qi nearly hit her. This Shen Yangxiao seriously did not take my meaningful glance. Do you believe me or not if I say I will report to the Emperor that you have pocketed all the money allocated to you and deliberately mistreated the special envoy? Shen Yangxiao said in a lukewarm tone, be my guest. If you want to report me, please do it as soon as possible. Go back to the Imperial capital as you please as long as you don't hinder my eyes. Li Qi widened his eyes. He did not expect Shen Yangxiao to actually answer this question. Pei Yuan's eyes had been locked on to the higher demon who had a very unhappy expression and was standing behind Shen Yangxiao. When Li Qi was about to launch a strike, Pei Yuan suddenly raised his hand and pointed to the higher demon. He is a demon. Pei Yuan words stunned everyone in the scene. Shen Yangxiao heart thumped a sound. How can Pei Yuan know that this youth is a demon? State preceptor, what did you say? Li Qi looked at Pei Yuan in disbelief, doubting whether he had heard wrongly. Pei Yuan rose and suddenly took out his wand from his storage ring. Although the higher demon's human form can deceive other people's eyes. It couldn't escape the perception of the mythological beast inside my body. Pei Yuan lifted the wand and released an attack toward the higher demon. The higher demon immediately dodged the oncoming attack, and his fleeing demon figure was indeed quite shocking. Shen Yangxi was secretly alarmed. She really did not expect that Pei Yuan's magical beast would be a mythological beast. The demon's ability to transform their shape was very strong. Unless it was an extremely powerful individual or a high-leveled magical beast, demons could not be perceived. Before this, Shen Yangxiao didn't think that in the team of the special enjoy sent by the imperial capital, there would be such a powerful character. This Pei Yuan had been silent since the beginning. She thought he had not discovered anything, but, damn it. Pei Yuan saw that the demon had dodged his attack, but he was not anxious. Instead, he looked at Shen Yangxiao and calmly said, since entering the rising sun city, the mythological beasts in my body had already felt that there are a lot of demons in this city. Shen Yangxiao, in your previous message it was clearly stated that the demons of the rising sun city have been cleared out. Then, what about these demons? Chapter 672, If you won't seek death, you will not die. 3. State. State Preceptor, you said in this city there are many demons? When Li Qi heard the word demon, his whole body shivered and hid behind the Pei Yuan in fear. Yes, there are a lot of demons here, and many of them are higher demons that can transform into a human appearance. I think you should give me an explanation, Shen Yangxiao, whether you knew of the existence of these demons or not. Pei Yuan looked at Shen Yangxiao with a stern face. Shen Yangxiao secretly gritted her teeth. Pei Yuan's emergence was definitely unexpected. Pei Yuan's question was simply could not be answered. Humans were almost non-existent in the barren land. If Shen Yangxiao answered that she did not know, 
it was obviously impossible to explain why she would acquiesce to have so many unidentified humans in the city. If she said otherwise, then it was over. Previously, I had felt odd about the matter on the rising sun city. You are but a child. Yet, you are actually able to clear out all the demons in the main city within a short period of one month. Such a thing has never happened before in the Radiance continent. Even if tens of thousands of troops are to be deployed, it's still difficult to accomplish this in such a short period of time. The construction of the city walls has been completed. I think that the construction must have already started very early. In that case, when did you actually perform the eradication of the demons? I haven't said much but I secretly observe the people in here. I'm afraid that here in the rising sun city, there are a lot of people who are higher demons in human forms. Pei Yuan sneered. In fact, his thought and Shen Yang Xiao's thoughts were exactly the same. He was not awaiting Shen Yang Xiao's answer. He already knew the truth in his mind. Shen Yang Xiao must be aware that these existences were higher demons. In this world, there were actually people who dared to associate with demons. It simply made one's hair stand on end. Shen Shen Yang Xiao, the state preceptor had asked you, why don't you answer you, did you really leave the demons in this city? Li Qi had been pale with fright, he couldn't believe that he was surrounded by a group of demons. Shen Yang Xiao frowned, no matter how she answered the question, Pei Yuan already had the answer. Now, any explanations would just be futile. After thousands of calculations, she did not calculate the existence of a person with a mythological beast within this special envoy team. Answering and not answering are all the same. I conclude that you're young and ignorant. I'll forgive you for the time being. It's just that the demons in this city must all be eradicated. Today, with the lead of my mythological beast Bay Eyes E1, you will order your men to eradicate the demons in this city together. I will personally plead to His Majesty the Emperor in the future to temporarily spare your life. Pei Yuan remained aloof, displaying a noble and lofty posture. 1. Bei Ai Zi, a legendary creature in China, lit. White Marsh. State Preceptor. This little girl deceived His Majesty the Emperor, actually associating herself with the demons. She made us come into this dangerous place. How can you intercede for her? Such a disloyal and iniquitous person should be hacked into pieces. With Pei Yuan next to him. Li Qi fiercely accused Shen Yang Xiao. God knew that if he were aware that the demons of the Rising Sun City had not yet been completely eradicated, he would not have come here. All of these were to be blamed on this dead girl for not having brains. She was actually unable to tell apart humans and demons, putting me in danger now. Shen Yang Xiao narrowed her eyes and did not respond. She just stared at Pei Yuan and Li Qi. Suddenly, she lowered her head and a series of low laughter came from her mouth. Forget it. In the end, this is my style. Why should I care too much? A whisper came from Shen Yang Xiao's smiling mouth. Pei Yuan and others were confused by Shen Yang Xiao's strange actions and could only stare at her. The next second, Shen Yang Xiao raised her head, and a strange smile bloomed on her stunning, beautiful face. State Preceptor Pei Yuan. Did you know how many demons there were in the Rising Sun City? Chapter 673. If you won't seek death, you will not die. 4. Pei Yuan slightly frowned. Shen Yang Xiao did not wait for him to answer as she said, I'll tell you. In the beginning, there are 37,800 lower demons, 6,790 middle demons, and 231 higher demons in the rising sun city. The three series of numbers Shen Yang Xiao had blurted out made the faces of Pei Yuan's group slightly chang. The number of demons in the five main cities of the barren land was indeed much higher than the average city. But, no one had any real data on it. When Shen Yang Xiao revealed that there were more than 30,000 demons, it really shocked everyone. More than 30,000 demons, what a terrible number this was. In ordinary cities of barren land, the number of demons was only several thousand. It was very difficult to break into the tens of thousands. The number of higher demons was also only in the double digits. But even so, it already let the powerful four countries have endless headaches. The three countries were only able to develop a city in the barren land at the expense of countless units of money and manpower. However, 
the number of demons in the rising sun city was already far greater than the sum of the demons in the countries of the other three forces in those years. The number of people Shen Yang Xiao had initially brought into the barren land was only 100 plus people, and even if it was 100,000 people, it would still be absolutely impossible to reclaim the city within a month. Shen Yang Xiao smiled and watched the shock that congealed in everyone's faces. Qian hurriedly asked, State Preceptor, do you know how many demons are there now here in the Rising Sun City? Pei Yuan's heartbeat somewhat accelerated. He did not expect that the initial number of demons in the Rising Sun City would be that much. Although he did not know how many demons Shen Yang Xiao had disposed of, he was sure that it would be a very arduous task even if the remaining number of demons was only one tenth. Earlier, he dared to talk big and spoke about eradicating the demons because he thought there were not that many demons. He only saw a few higher demons. With his own strength, and with the help of his mythological beast Bei Iz, fighting them was not impossible. However, with Shen Yang Xiao's expression at the moment, his heart raised an ominous premonition. Shen Yang Xiao smiled lightly and said, There are 37,800 lower demons, 6,790 middle demons, and 231 higher demons. Bang! Shen Yang Xiao's words were like a heavy bomb blasting in Pei Yuan's head. The number of demons in the Rising Sun City actually did not lessen at all. How could that be possible? I have clearly seen only a few higher demons. Most parts of this city were still in ruins. You can't hide the lower demons and middle demons. They don't know how to transform into human form, so how can they avoid my observation? Pei Yuan did not believe it. Shen Yang Xiao's words were just too terrible. If this was really the case, forget about eradicating them. He and Bei Aizi would probably be reduced to these demons' rations in minutes. Shen Yang Xiao had somehow suddenly relaxed a lot. She leisurely looked at Pei Yuan who was now under a little panic. She then shook her head. State Preceptor, you already know that I dare to leave the higher demons here. So how can I not hide the other demons? You. Pei Yuan shouted not good inwardly. Shen Yang Xiao's attitude right now was obviously different from before. Before, this little girl repeatedly exercised forbearance to keep peace. But now, she had an insolent face and even admitted her connections with the demons. Pei Yuan, who had met countless people, naturally knew that this was a dangerous sign. In fact, the self-proclaimed wise Pei Yuan had actually brought a huge disaster to himself and their team. Out of thousands of things he shouldn't be saying, he actually picked the matter about the demons. Chapter 674 If you won't seek death, you will not die. 5 Shen Yang Xiao's repeated patience was the last resort, but Pei Yuan just had to go and say the matter about the demons. It meant that this matter about Shen Yang Xiao and the demons would surely be transmitted to the Emperor's ears. And no matter whether Shen Yang Xiao could build the Rising Sun City or not, the Emperor would use the demons as a reason to pursue her fault. At that time, not only would the Rising Sun City no longer belong to her, she would probably be punished as well. How could Shen Yang Xiao accept this doomed situation? Since it was impossible to hide it anymore. She might as well be frank and put her cards on the table. At least she did not need to endure any more. What she needed to do now was to make the team of this special envoy completely stay in the Rising Sun City. The strength of State Preceptor Pei Yuan really made me very surprised. I thought it's enough to just go through the motions this time, but I didn't think you would actually expose this matter. However, since this is already the case, I don't have to hide it. Shen Yang Xiao spread her hands. She smilingly looked at Li Qi, who was hiding behind Pei Yuan. She said with a leisurely tone, Unfortunately, I can't help you eradicate the demons here, because all the demons in the Rising Sun City are my citizens. Shen Yang Xiao pleasantly laughed and slightly raised her chin with absolute arrogance. Your citizens? You're treating the demons as citizens? Are you out of your mind? Do you know that these demons eat humans? You crazy bastard. No, that's wrong. You're actually a demon, right? You're a demon who transformed into a human. Li Qi screamed in horror. Shen Yang Xiao looked at him in a way that made him feel like he was a rabbit spotted by a venomous snake. Shen Yang Xiao smiled slightly and looked at Li Qi's pale face. Demon? No, I prefer for you to call me the Demon Lord. Anyway, 
these things are not important anymore, since you have discovered my secrets, until the construction of the rising sun city has been finished, I will trouble you to stay in my city for a while. Shen Yangxiao smiled brightly, just like a harmless lily, but her words were like a poisonous poppy. You want us to remain here? Pei Yuan gripped the wand in his hands, mentioning that thing was his miscalculation. This little devil really was not simple, just like what he had thought. Her forbearance before and her decisiveness right now really made people admire her. Yes. Shen Yang Xiao did not hide her intentions. If they were to return now, she would then be defeated. Only by keeping them in the rising sun city could they keep her secrets. If you do this, the emperor will soon find an anomaly. Our group of people took a trip to the barren land to do an inspection. If our stay exceeds the deadline, the emperor will surely harbor doubts. When the time comes, you will certainly die. Pei Yuan made an effort to stabilize his breathing. Although there was Bei Aizi in his hands, he dared not act rashly. He still did not know if the more than 200 higher demons mentioned by Shen Yang Xiao really existed. If they really existed, once he acted unreasonably, he would probably end up in a bitter battle. Shen Yang Xiao said, the state preceptor don't have to worry about me. I want to thank you for sending me an absolutely handy and free gold medal. I may have had some concerns before, but with this free gold medal, I think even if the emperor discovers something unusual, he will not easily touch me. Shen Yang Xiao's voice fell to the ground, and her eyes were directed at Long Yu Ai who had been at the side. Long Yu Ai had already been frightened silly by everything he had heard. He could only keep being stunned as she looked at Shen Yang Xiao with his lips slightly opened. The only prince of Long Xiu An Empire and the future emperor. If there is such a hostage in hand, do you think the emperor will still dare to use force against me? Chapter 675, If you won't seek death, you will not die. 6. If I remember correctly, the emperor is now 60 years old. If this time, his oldest son, Prince Long Yu I met an accident, are we then going to hand over the Long Xiu An Empire to others? At this moment, Shen Yang Xiao was like a devil from hell, speaking with a bewitching tone that made people feel their blood run cold. Pei Yuan unbelievably stared at Shen Yang Xiao. He couldn't believe that these words were actually said from the mouth of a young girl who had not yet reached her adulthood. You dare, as long as I, Pei Yuan, am here, you won't get to touch even a strand of hair on Prince Long Yui's head. Pei Yuan pulled the nearby Long Yui over to his back in order to protect him. You might have demons to help you, and I may indeed not be your opponent, but with Bei Aizi's strength, if I want to leave here with Long Yui, you cannot stop me. State. State Preceptor, what about me? You can't leave me here, you take me with you as well. When Li Qi heard that Pei Yuan would be escaping with Long Yui, his legs immediately turned soft in fright. He was not a fool. Shen Yang Xiao's attitude just now made him clearly realize that this girl was definitely not a coward. She was a demon. She was absolutely a demon. When he thought of all the insults he had thrown at Shen Yang Xiao before, Li Qi was really scared witless. His legs weakened. If Pei Yuan had no regard for his life and death, then he would definitely have no chance of living. Shen Yang Xiao raised her eyebrows and looked at Pei Yuan, then she laughed softly and shook her head. State Preceptor, it can't be that you're really thinking that your mythological beast can leave from here, right? Shen Yang Xiao looked at Pei Yuan, seemingly as if she was looking at a very interesting thing. Pei Yuan did not respond. Bei Aizi was his final card. Although the higher demons were powerful, it was impossible for them to hinder Bei Aizi from escaping. Although he could not eradicate the demons here, escaping with Long Yui was not difficult. Pei Yuan seized the time to summon Bei Aizi. Suddenly, a whole white-bodied mythological beast mysteriously appeared in the sky. His stature was like a horse. His head was on his feet and a pair of snow-white wings was spread wide impressively. His huge body immediately enveloped the heads of the crowd. Mythological Beast R. It seems that State Preceptor Pei Yuan is very confident in the power of this mythological beast. Looking up at Bei Aizi who was in the sky, Shen Yang Xiao's eyes flashed with a playful light. She then raised her lips and looked arrogantly at Pei Yuan, 
I just don't know if state preceptor Peyu Arns Bay Eyes he could escape the pursuit of my eight mythological beasts. As soon as Shen Yang Xiao's voice landed on the ground, the five animals standing behind Shen Yang Xiao immediately summoned their mythological beasts. Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Black Tortoise, Kylin, and Eight-Headed Serpent, together with Million Bird, who had been around Shen Yang Xiao, and the two phoenixes, who arrived at the scene unknowingly. The eight great mythological beasts immediately incarnated into their beasts' forms. In the blink of an eye, Bay Izzy on the sky were surrounded by Vermilion, Azure Dragon, Kylin, and two phoenixes. Although Bay Izzy was really tough, opposite him was eight mythological beasts that were equal in strength, one against eight. The situation was very clear at just a glance. Pei Yuan was completely stunned silly. He stared dumbfoundedly at the five mythological beasts in the sky then looked at black tortoise, white tiger, and eight-headed serpent on the ground. He couldn't find his voice. He never thought that there would be such a person, one who could summon eight mythological beasts with one command. Eight mythological beasts. It could be said that the number of all mythological beasts within the Long Xuan Empire was also like this. Looking again at the eight mythological beasts, Pei Yuan soon recognized the five guardian beasts of the five great clans, Azure Dragon, White Tiger, Vermilion Bird, Black Tortoise, and Kylin. Chapter 676 If you won't seek death, you will not die. 7. You actually have obtained Vermilion Bird. Pei Yuan had an eyeful of shock. He had heard long ago that the five great clans had invited the Holy Sage of God's domain to awaken their mythological beasts, but after that, they had not been able to get any news as to who was able to obtain the five mythological beasts. He did not expect that today in the barren land, he would see all of them together. As your dragon, white tiger, black tortoise, and Kylin the mythological beasts of the five great clans are all together. I presume that the other four clans should also be here. Since you are people of the Long Xuan Empire, will you really just sit idly by and watch as Shen Yang Xiao, this rebel, abducts Prince Long Yue? Pei Yuan felt great despair. If there were only the mythological beast Vermilion Bird then fine. But why would the other four mythological beasts also appear here? Did it mean that the discordance of the five great clans was just a rumor? Ha! Huh. A sigh came from behind Shen Yang Xiao. Chi Xia heard the desperate cry of Pei Yuan and stepped forward, also removing the face-changing mask on his face. You're that Chi Xia of the Kylin clan? Pei Yuan recognized Chixiu at a glance. The Kylin clan own most of the big businesses in Long Xuan Empire, and their transactions with the Imperial Palace were also numerous. Pei Yuan had seen Chixiu several times in the palace and he was very much appreciative of this talented younger generation. That is me, Chixiu said. Subsequently, Yan Yu, Yang Sai, and Tang Nazi removed their face-changing masks as well. Only Li Xiao I hesitated and did not follow suit. You how could it be all of you? Why are you helping Shen Yang Xiao? Have you all not heard her disrespectful words a moment ago? Pei Yuan looked at the four youths in surprise. These people were all from the other four great clans. And also the people most likely to inherit their clans in the future. However, right now, they stood beside Shen Yang Xiao. And when they heard Shen Yang Xiao's arrogant words, they did not have any intention to oppose it. They were even helping Shen Yang Xiao besiege his own mythological beast. Pei Yuan could not figure out why they were doing this. We heard it all. Qi Zai smilingly nodded. Then, why are you helping her? Qi Xia glanced at his partner on the side and shrugged his shoulders before turning to look back at Pei Yuan. I have always deeply respected the state preceptor. But everything I saw today made this younger generation hold you in contempt. What did you say? Pei Yuan had always been lofty. Today, a member of the younger generation had said such things to him. It was a bit unacceptable. Chi Xia said, State preceptor, I will ask you, since little Xia took over the rising sun city, has the emperor ever given her a gold coin? A single worker? Pei Yuan froze for a moment. He hesitated for a long time before reluctantly shaking his head. Then, why was the special envoy, back then at the city gates, being so irrational and accusing little Xiao of squandering resources? 
even ordering the demolition of the city walls. Why didn't you bring out your fairness and redress the injustice for little Xiao back then? You clearly know that the construction of the rising sun city does not have even a slight connection with the emperor's arms. Everything here is undertaken by little Xiao alone. Moreover, leaving aside the fact that you want the resources to be transported, saying that the rising sun city doesn't have the least bit of authority to use the barren land resources, isn't that too ridiculous? I was fortunate enough to have known the previous generation who had gone here, to the barren land. What I heard from him was completely different from what I am witnessing right now. In addition to receiving the full support of the Long Xuan Empire, the barren land resources he had obtained were under his complete control. Everything was to give priority in opening up a city in the barren land. But why, when it comes to the rising sun city, and to little Xiao here, is everything different? Chapter 677, If you won't seek death, you will not die. 8. You didn't provide any help, instead you stepped on others' painstaking efforts and took advantage of it. State Preceptor, you flaunt yourself as fair and equitable. Why did you overlook such injustice? What kind of unfairness is this acquiescence? Every single word and sentence Chi Xia had spoken was reasonable. Pei Yuan's complexion was black. Everything Chi Xia had said was a fact. The treatment received by Shen Yang Xia was harsher than what other people had received. It was absolutely without consideration for others. Moreover, Li Qi's censure was really unreasonable. It was contrary to common sense. Chi Xia looked at Pei Yuan, who had averted his gaze, and said with a smile, since little Xiao is a warlock, the emperor doesn't like her. You don't like her either. If I haven't guessed wrongly, the purpose of state preceptor on the surface is for inspection, but in fact, you are secretly trying to insert personnel to control the rising sun city. Isn't that right? Pei Yuan was inwardly surprised. Chi Xia's cleverness had been known all over the country. But he did not think that he could actually see everything so thoroughly. You don't accept her but you want her to help you open up a city in the barren land, and then you plan to seize it after the city is built. State Preceptor, don't you think such way of handling things is extremely ugly? There was a hint of coldness in Chi Xia's smile. Some words couldn't be said by Shen Yang Xiao, but he could say them for her. On her behalf, he would speak all the injustice and prejudices of the world against her. Just a mere profession can make you treat an innocent little girl like this. I'm sorry but I can't stand it nor accept it. Even though I'm a person of Long Xuan Empire, I definitely won't stand with the United Front against a little girl. Chi Xia's eloquent speech made Pei Yuan speechless and ashamed. Those words were as painful as slapping his face. Indeed, he clearly knew how unfair this was to Shen Yang Xiao, but he still allowed the prejudices in his heart to continue to spread, letting Li Qi act arrogant and despotic. Well, my reasons are already very clear. The other's ideas are the same as mine. So I must urge the state preceptor to not continue struggling. If you really intend to rush out of here with Bay IZ, we'll definitely command our mythological beasts to take you down. Cheeksia grinned, delivering an absolute threat. Pei Yuan's heart was in total despair. The five mythological beasts of the five great clans had already overwhelmed people. Not to mention there were still three other mythological beasts who were glaring like a tiger watching their prey and whose masters were unknown. He really had no other choice. Prince Long Yu is innocent. As long as you let us leave, I will not speak of today's things. Pei Yuan closed his eyes and compromised. Shen Yang Xiao looked at Pei Yuan's tragic expression and glance at the somewhat silly prince, then said, no, you don't believe me, even though I was muddled for a while, I, Pei Yuan, have a life code to keep promises throughout my life, and I promise that I will never go back on my words, Shen Yang Xiao said with a chuckle, it doesn't matter if I believe you or not, you have hundreds of people on your side, even if you can manage your own mouth, can you control the mouths of other people? I'll tell you the truth. There's one person on your team that I don't intend to let off. Though, initially, I wanted to deal with him after you returned to the Imperial Capital. But now, Shen Yang Xiao's voice gradually faded, and her figure impressively flashed in front of a certain person the next second. Chapter 678 Having a Firm Hold Over the Emperor 1. In the blink of an eye, she had arrived behind Li Qi 
whose legs turned soft. She pulled up Li Chi who was now lying on the floor. It can be done directly. Ah! Li Chi screamed in fright because of Shen Yang Xiao. He was incomparably arrogant before. Now, his whole body was covered in cold sweat and his complexion was very pale. What do you want to do, Shen Yang Xiao? Pei Yuan was startled. But under the deterrence of eight mythological beasts, he did not dare to act rashly. Shen Yang Xiao's eyebrow raised as she looked at the embarrassing figure of Li Qi. From her mouth hung a trace of a smile. What do I want to do? Of course, it's revenge. Pei Yuan froze. He immediately recalled Li Qi's insults to Shen Yang Xiao today. Shen Yang Xiao had not reacted. Not because she did not have a temper, she was only taking some things into account so she did not make a move. Pei Yuan was really regretting now. If he knew that this would be the result, he would not have provoked the sleeping dragon. Shen Yang Xiao had no scruples now. So how could she let Li Qi off? The one who had badly insulted her? State preceptor save me. State preceptor save me. Li Qi struggled desperately and tried to beg for Pei Yuan's help. Pei Yuan didn't have the heart to just abandon Li Qi as he said, Li Qi had offended you before, but I would still request that you consider his face as long as you are an empire's official and have mercy on him. Shen Yang Xiao laughed softly and responded, It's quite regrettable that I am never a person who repay evil with good. To be honest, I never intended to let go of this guy. Even if you didn't expose the demons, I would still send someone to kill Li Qi after you returned to the capital. She endured because there were people she was worried about, but her patience was only momentary. No one would be able to slip away after provoking her. Pei Yuan still wanted to say something, but Shen Yang Xiao immediately added, State Preceptor Pei Yuan. There's no room for you to discuss this any longer. Rather than worry about this scum, it's better to care about yourself and the prince. When Shen Yang Xiao's words hit the center of Pei Yuan's life door, even if he had the intention to help Li Qi, he would have to care more about Long Yue. Pei Yuan's silence broke Li Qi's last strand of life. Li Qi begged for mercy with tears and snot on his face. Unfortunately, Shen Yang Xiao had no plan to let him off. Didn't you like throwing insults here and there? I want to see if you dare to say anything now. Shen Yang Xiao kicked Li Qi to the ground and looked down at the man who was shedding bitter tears. Where could Li Qi still find the courage to act arrogant? He knelt on the ground as he begged for mercy. I don't dare, city lord. I beg you to let me go. I've made a mistake. My mouth is cheap. You're a great person who rarely stoops to pettiness. Please don't lower yourself to trash such as me. Shen Yang Xiao but sneered and kicked Li Qi out of the way with her foot. Take this guy away from me and lock him up. Without my orders, don't give him any food or water. She would not beat him or kill him. She would make him starve to death and slowly wait for his death in the dark corners. Although killing him with a knife was efficient, it was going too easy on him. The higher demon, who stood at one side and waiting for the opportunity to move, immediately walked forward to pull up the struggling Li Qi. Hearing Li Qi's screams, Pei Yuan's face was unsightly to the extreme. Shen Yang Xiao was done dealing with Li Qi and looked at Pei Yuan and Long Yue. Now I'll offer you two paths. Do as I say and write a letter to that old fogey in the imperial capital. Tell him that you want to stay in the barren land for a while. The reason is that everything in here is almost in your grasp. You just need to slowly shift all of the power into your hands. If you cooperate with me, you will still be treated as distinguished guests of the Rising Sun City. Chapter 679, Having a Firm Hold Over the Emperor, 2. The second one, if you don't want to cooperate, I will lock you up and threaten the Emperor with Prince Long Yue's life. It's your choice, whether you want to be a distinguished guest or a prisoner. Shen Yang Xiao's hands were folded together over her chest as she stared at Pei Yuan and Long Yue. The choice between these two paths was in the hands of Pei Yuan. Pei Yuan was very clear. If he did not cooperate, not only would his and Long Yue's safety be difficult to guarantee, it was also absolutely unwise to let the Emperor face up against Shen Yang Xiao now. With the alliance of the five great clans, 
even the emperor was not their opponent. Pei Yuan sighed and said, I will do as you say. I only hope that you can fulfill your promise and not treat Long Yu Wei harshly. A wise man submits to circumstances. Shen Yang Xiao liked such wise man. No need to worry. I always do what I said. I hope so. Pei Yuan was very helpless. He regretted entering the barren land and regretted his arrogance before. He thought that having Bei eyes he could let him sit back and relax at the rising sun city. Now it seemed that everything was really ridiculous. Very well, then I ask the state preceptor and the prince to continue their meal. I also request for state preceptor to explain everything to the imperial guards who came with you. Otherwise, I wouldn't mind killing them. Shen Yang Xiao smiled sweetly before turning around to leave. The five animals immediately followed right after her. The eight mythological beasts also retreated with their master's departure. Not until Shen Yang Xiao's back had completely disappeared was Pei Yuan greatly relieved. State Preceptor Long Yue's complexion was not good. Shen Yang Xiao's words just now were cold and brimming with murderous aura. He got a feeling like his neck was being clutched rigidly making him unable to utter a word. Obviously, she was such a peerlessly beautiful young lady. Why was it that she was giving people the feeling of a demon? Your Highness, your Highness should not panic. I will protect your Highness even in exchange for this old life of mine. Pei Yuan looked at Long Yue guiltily. He actually could not even protect the security of the prince. He really was unworthy of the state preceptor's identity. At the thought of the future wherein they would be living in such a dangerous place, Pei Yuan's heart fell to the bottom. The rising sun city was full of demons. Shen Yang Xiao's approach of associating with the demons was really alarming. Today, in Pei Yuan's mind, Shen Yang Xiao had been painted equally as a demon. He could only pray that one day in the future, he could find an opportunity to flee with Long Yue. Long Yue nodded his head. Although he was a prince, he was still young. In the face of such unexpected changes, it was difficult for him to adapt, so he would be more dependent on Pei Yuan. At the same time, there was a slight contradiction in his heart. Clearly, he had witnessed the coldness of Shen Yang Xiao. However, he could not erase her beautiful figure from his heart. Ah, I hope heaven will protect our Long Xiuan Empire. Pei Yuan sighed heavily, his eyes full of sadness. After Shen Yang Xiao left Pei Yuan's sight, the expression on her face instantly returned to normal. She looked at the five animals that remained behind her without saying anything. She was amused. What kind of expression is that? Little Xiao Ah. I really did not know until today that your courage is actually really big. Yan Ye looked at Shen Yang Xiao very emotionally, kidnapping a country's prince and threatening the state preceptor. For hundreds of years, Long Xiuan Empire probably has not seen anyone who has such courage. Yang Xi's look was quite complicated as he assessed the recent situation. Are you going to occupy the city as a king, and dethrone the emperor? Tang Nazi's eyes flashed with strange excitement. Chapter 680, Having a Firm Hold Over the Emperor, 3. Given that our emperor seems to be a bit stupid, it is not a bad idea to replace him. Li Xiao I rarely voiced his opinion, yeah? Chi Xia summed up the above statement with one word of insight. Shen Yang Xiao's mouth twitched. These animals looked like they were worried about her possible rebellion when in fact, their excited tone and cheerful eyes were actually no different from encouraging her. Can you please use your mind to think about these inconsequential questions on your own? I just want to be the city lord of the rising sun city and have no interest in whatever the emperor position is. She thought that the five clans, although their prestige was extremely high, still remained as loyal subjects of their country. But why was it when it came to their younger generation? Each and every one of them had become so deviant. All day long, they never seemed to think about being loyal to their country, and now they were actually thinking of rebellion. Ah? Didn't you have this in mind? Tang Nazi was obviously not able to accept Shen Yang Xiao's answer. The only prince was kidnapped, and the state preceptor had also been threatened. Shen Yang Xiao really had no intention of rebelling? This. Is she just teasing our nerves? No, not now not in the future. Shen Yang Xiao threw Tang Nazi a side long glance. Then, are you planning to send them back to Long Xiuan Empire? 
Tang Nazi stared at Shen Yang Xiao and asked. Shen Yang Xiao nodded very honestly. If I don't send them back, then should I lock them up forever and let them eat and drink for free? Don't joke around. Food is expensive. Heavens. Tang Nazi slapped his forehead and for the first time, he suddenly felt how weak will Shen Yang Xiao was. Do you think that if you didn't kill them, and you've not plotted a rebellion, they would be grateful to you. Do you believe me if I say that once you send them back, they're going to ask the emperor to gather the army and put down the rising sun city? The preparatory tasks of the rebellion were all done. But afterward, she actually quit and refused to work. Did she not think at all about the consequences? Shen Yang Xiao looked at Tang Nazi, then looked at the others who wanted to speak but hesitated. She scratched her head and said, you think about things too complicatedly. I just don't want them to expose the news inside the rising sun city so I temporarily put them under house arrest. I have no other ideas. As for how they will retaliate in the future, it's not important to me. When the rising sun city is completely rebuilt, if the emperor has the ability, he can send however many people he likes to attack us. She did not believe that the city walls built with obsidian and reinforced with the magic array of the demon race could not withstand the Long Xuan Empire's artilleries. Even if she were to stand on the wall as it was attacked by them for three years, she didn't have to worry at all. Uncles, I am very sturdy, if you have the ability then hit me ah. Aren't you being too reckless? Yan Yu was a bit worried. Today. Shen Yang Xiao's actions had touched the limits of the monarchy. Unauthorized fellows putting a prince under house arrest was unforgivable in any country. Reckless. Shen Yang Xiao chuckled. I won't deal with the emperor as long as he doesn't provoke me. As for Pei Yuan, I don't think he is a narrow minded person. There is another purpose for keeping them in the rising sun city. Shen Yang Xiao looked around the rising sun city, which was currently under reconstruction and there was a ray of hope in her eyes. I hope that they can see with their own eyes that demons and humans can live in harmony with each other, that they can personally come into contact with the demons, and I hope that everything they have experienced here will allow them to change their views about the demons.